Well, uh, oh, hey there, YouTube. How you doing? It's Donnie B all day here today. As you can see, I got a fake limp going on because I wanted to show you something from Cold Steel. The Cold Steel Heavy Duty Cane Sword with a three CR-13 stainless blade. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, Stone Cold, uh, Stone Cold, Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, uh, Cold Steel, whew, Cold Steel isn't just some knife company, right? These guys do a whole lot of everything, um, including knives and swords and throwing stars and even a boomerang. They do all kinds of stuff, including walking sticks, like this African walking stick, polypropylene, uh, amazing, nearly indestructible, all the way to this heavy-duty um, walking stick, the heavy-duty sword cane. Um, this thing is fantastic. Most uh, most sword canes, uh, sword canes on the check is no marbles in there, right? Whoa. Okay, so most sword canes on the market. Um, have this unscrew cap that you have to sit there and do this before you know if you want to take it out not cold steel cold steel is practical um, this one it just pulls out there's little um, let me show, show you there little o-ring right there a little rubber o-ring that helps lock it in place which locks it in place um, this thing actually looks like a cane it doesn't have like a, a little brass fitment right here or something a little steel piece that says hey I unscrew and I'm a sword in hiding. Um, even as a lanyard hole, uh, it, it hides very, very well. The best part about this um, cane, however, is the fact that it's completely battle ready. You can use the, uh, the metal cane as a weapon just as easily as you can take apart the, uh, as you can take apart the, the whole thing and just use the sword. This thing, is awesome and what kind of sword is it it is a narrow sharpened even has a uh, a mostly edge at the tip you know it's thing uh all all said and done i believe it's uh 37 and a half inches um of battle ready sword so you can use this thing as a battle ready sword right it is just awesome this thing doesn't just get the job done, it gets any job done. Um, that's just so cool, man. So, basically, what you're gonna do is get rid of this thing. The cane sword, heavy duty cane sword from Cold Steel. Um, I don't have to sit up here and talk about it too much because, I mean, you see, the gallon of water um, is weighted, you know, it's a heavy thing. So to swing at that and just pass through with such ease, it, it's tell, it, it's telling. Look how thick this thing is. Most, um, most cane swords are novelty items. If you did that with most cane swords, um, the attachment is so weak that the blade would have just probably popped right off. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but you see these little, uh, silver guys right here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's pinned on in three different places this thing is on there really really secure um it's just awesome let's clean off some of that agua and uh really get a good look at this blade i mean it is fine 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 is it sharp yeah it's sharp i just cut through a gallon of water um but it's just so so practical the um the handle it, you know even with this thing being so light the handle is very very easy to control you don't have to hold it here you know which you could you could push from here but holding it just like a one-handed sword even like a one and a half handed sword so um, you can you can literally take this thing and use it as a uh, as like a miniature samurai um, actually straight ninja so the thing is the thing is awesome and what I want to do is uh, just go whack at a few things with it, come on. All right, so I had to bring you um, deeper into a uh, different section of One Inch Forest to um, show you a part that I've already taken down. Um, so I just want to take it a little farther down and show you what this thing can do. And uh, 
that's what we're going to do. Um, this thing is just awesome. I mean, to show you the cutting ability of this thing. Look at these slices. It is just awesome. Um, is it sharp? Yeah, it's pretty sharp. I can take it out and just do some handy dandy um, fine tuning work if I really needed to. You're not gonna use this for that. However, it's not impossible. And so we're gonna show you real quick if you're ever uh, in a survival situation with nothing but a cane sword, you have to light a fire. Well, I'll tell you what. It does it all. This is a cane sword, guys. A freaking cane sword, right? Um, it's just a beast of a cane sword. So what I want to do is I want to throw this guy on there. And um, I want to see if we can debranch something with this. So hold on a second. All right, so little do you know, debranch is a real word that I just made up. So what we're going to do is we are going to remove this branch from this tree by using the stalk of my cane sword. And <laughs> I slipped on a wet log. That would have been funny. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's just too easy. Is there any damage? No, I just wiped off the dirt where it hit right there. Um, I mean, I could do that in 50 other trees, but you pretty much get the gist of it just by doing that. This thing is awesome. Now, with swords, like the, like the samurai, I like to show you that it's not just an up-close weapon, but it's um, a weapon you can use from far away. And um, I want to show you that this is no different. So I've never thrown this before. We're going to do it today. All right, guys, since I haven't thrown this yet, I'm going to go back just five yards, start from there, and then who knows, depending on how well it goes, if it goes, maybe we'll drop back to seven, but... Let's start early here. Well, I think I threw that like a little sissy girl. And that was the problem. So it's all about finding the right grip and doing something like that. Um, you know, what's funny is on my uh, Samurai video, my very first throw did the same thing. Hit tip in, it went in, but it fell out. So let me just brush this off so you can get a good look. No damage. No switching. I was gonna throw it a few times before I went back to seven, but you know what? Screw it. We're all here together. Let's test it out. Seven yard throw. Ah. And uh, the throw wasn't perfect, but the stick was. I'm gonna go back a little bit past seven. Let's try eight. I know it's only a yard, it doesn't sound like much, but I'll tell you what, count out eight yards and start throwing swords. Oh, Jesus. Wow, that really, uh, really went in there. So, that thing, it was all the way into here when I pulled that thing out. Um, man, this thing is great. I haven't done this with any other sword. So we're gonna do it today. We're gonna take our sword distance virginity together. Um, and uh, hopefully I don't pop my cherry all over my pants because we're gonna throw this 10 yards. Um, I already have a marker for 10 for uh, when I was throwing uh, a throwing knife. Uh, but I think we could do this, so let's, let's go 10. I don't know if you guys can still hear me. But, I mean, I don't know if you guys can still hear me <laughs> 10 yards away. Holy crap. So, it didn't stick in that far. Maybe because I was, you know, <laughs> 10 yards away. But, I just threw a freaking cane sword. 
from 10 freaking yards away into a freaking tree. Freaking, 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 freaking. Um, this thing's awesome. This is a cane sore, boys and, boys and girls. Not even a cane sore. That's something you get from kissing a cane that's a little dirty. It's a cane sword. This is the heavy duty cane sword from Cold Steel. Um, I'm not gonna go farther with this video. I mean, if you can't tell the strength just by the little that I was able to show you, um, then you really, really weren't paying attention. I mean, it is, it's just awesome, you know? It's just awesome, flexes. It's so, so well built. Um, if you're looking to get a, a cane sword that actually hides as a cane, uh, and isn't so conspicuous and doesn't have like the head of splinter from the Ninja Turtles coming out of it, you know, with fucking all kinds of ornate crap that says, look what I am, everybody. You can tell right away. Get this. Uh, I know it lists for like 150 bucks, which for a battle ready sword, a battle ready sword, 150 bucks is pittance, man. That is dirt cheap. Um, but I know that you can find them online cheaper than that. Um, you might even be able to find it on eBay. I have no idea. Um, I've had this for, I don't know, quite a while. Literally quite a while. So I, I, I haven't had to look for it in a while. But um, it's just awesome. Um, it's, a, it's a cane sword that's battle ready. I mean, what else do you need to know? You can go to United Cutlery and, and get some crap cane sword that's made of tin foil and you know those pipe cleaners it, but it's not going to measure up this thing with this double edge i'll tell you what man if i ever get robbed by some 96 year old lady with a brick in her handbag i am gonna beat her no that's not nice but this thing this thing's awesome um so the heavy duty cane sword from cold steel is it worth it yep um is it really heavy duty? Yep. It's heavy duty. Um, I've, I've had this for a long time and I've done things similar to what I just did here, but um, I've never thrown it 10 yards before and I've never even thrown it before. And I'll tell you what, this thing outperforms all expectations. It is not just useful, not just heavy duty, not just a great cane sword, but it's actually a, a, a very attractive blade. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you much about it other than what I just did, which is a whole lot about it. 37 and a half inches of pure, great cane sword. This thing is, is worth the buy. Um, if you like cool stuff, this is a cool thing you should own. So, heavy duty cane sword, cold steel. I am Donnie B all day. And until next, knife or sword. All right.